Alrighty, let's watch this in full here. There is sound, awesome action sound. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. All right, let's put the sound quickly back on. The only thing I would say here is that lots of cool stuff, but I feel like the sound of the machine gun, whatever you want to call this on a chopper, is just too much for too long. It goes on and on. It goes on and on. It goes on and on. It's like the guy is falling asleep here on the trigger. So to me, it seems like a little bit more of rhythm where it's almost like you want to start with this not on screen yet. And it could be... I mean, you could start with this gone. I mean, it could also just have... Well, you want to put that, maybe that might be up there. I can't, to be honest, I can't remember what I said last time. And I should, but I can't. Um, I know I had specific comments about the entrance. But right now, I would say, what if you do it like this? Where, or however you want to stage or move these further back so we don't see them. And it starts off with shots first. Pew, 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 and then a dragon comes in. The first thing that to me is that it's already all happening at the same time. All of this is happening, this and this. And I think it would be neat to stagger it. So you see, you can almost have nothing happening. Then shots where this is going on. So we're going, oh, the eye goes straight to here. And then as we see the firing, the eye goes over there, which then... You have the dragon appear, and then you got the chopper appear. So it's kind of a one, two, three in terms of where to look at. That's what I would do. But then I would have just a bit more rhythm in the shooting, where I might shoot, ba -ba 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 -bam. wait a bit, shoot again, bam, explosion. And then no shooting, because maybe the people in there just only see fire. They don't quite know what's going on, where the dragon is. And then as we go back into like, oh, it's there, that's there. Then shoot again. Bam, 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 on that turn. Here, watch out. It seems to get hit. So I don't know if you want to, if that's on purpose or if you want to make sure that there's some blood. Or I don't know what we want to do here. And then maybe a pause a bit. And as it comes back into frame and it's alone, then it can sh shoot again. Because here it's nice, but there's a little bit of a break. But even here, I would time the sound with just this. And then when it stops, stop the sound of the shooting. And even through all of this, I would have no shooting sounds. That's all for the sound. Visually, it's a lot of cool things. Only like two or three moments where I felt like that's kind of weird. Subjectively, as always, though, right? Pop, 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 pop. It would be really cool. I don't know if you can do that, but... Imagine the dragon comes through, like the head peeks through this, comes through the fire. I don't know if you want to do that then bigger or darker clouds, but it'd be kind of cool. This feels like it's going behind it, but I don't know. I know you have it set up, but it'd be kind of fun. Especially with this, you have a nice silhouette where, you know, it's a dragon. It's going to be used to fire, <laughs> punctures <laughs> through this, but it's really cool. It really neat. The only thing I would say here, it starts to feel like it's, it wants to go up, but it can't really. You would think that it would continue to go up so that at this point, those feet are already up here. Like this one's here, this one's here. So this feels like it's suddenly crabbing towards us with this. Even though it's cool to have all this last minute, it just feels pathwise a bit strange. This is all cool. And at this point, it goes up. So feet up here. That's kind of the biggest thing here on the dragon. I like the little flaps are cool. Maybe a bit too even in timing here. If you watch this, you got one, two, pause, and one, two, three, four, five. It's a bit too where it's, I will go, and then maybe a half flap, and then one, two, three, four, five. You have something where it's a bit more, say, texture in timing, which something a bit more, some variation and contrast in that. But as it happens, it's cool. You got your drag overlap in the tips. Let's go here. Broken wings for the up, that's fine. And then going in here for a drag on that. It seems like you have a back to front flap. You might even go a bit more, but I think from that angle, it's a bit hard to see, but it all feels really nice. Also the influence here, it's really neat. 
I'm not sure what's going on. The chopper. Does the chopper have a weird Y rotation in the body? It's pointing this way. And it's pointing at us. And then kind of three quarter. Watch out for that. That seems a bit funky. Same thing here. Watch out. It has a bit of a right there, a bit of a sharp Y turn. Where I will go a bit more. They can crab. Choppers can crab a lot. So at this point, it would still that nose here-ish would be a bit more pointed this way. And then maybe even here, you're pointing away from us this way. And then it comes back a bit this way. Ba -bang. It's cool though. It's cool to have that there though. Uh, I think it's overall very neat. That's the biggest thing to me. It's just kind of that whole thing, watch out on that. And the rhythm of this. This going through the fire would be cool. It's not a deal breaker. But the biggest thing is this crabbing here towards us. It just gets very big and it kind of pops out of frame when you have big shapes here. Just kind of pop out over one frame. So I would have that a bit more gradual. Then that's cool. Like all of this. A little adjustment. A couple flaps there. That's cool. And then you got this guy coming up, showing the next threat. I think that's a really great change. It's really nicely done. Flappy picky, I would say. Cheat the texture and put some snow here. Plus, we're losing the silhouette. It's be cool to kind of have a nicer view. Of the dragon at that point. Maybe that's one thing you can do is maybe put some haze, like a hardware fog, that kind of very subtle. And maybe that's gonna get hazed out a little bit. And then we can see a bit more of the dragon. However you want to do it. This one I felt is a bit strong in the up and down. And what the, I don't know if that's part of the camera or not. It seems maybe both camera and dragon, but I would reduce the up and down translate a little bit. So the thing that happens here though, is as we get into this, was this all clear? That's cool. We see the next guy. All right, that's cool. Then it gets a bit funky. I would avoid pops like this where stuff just comes into frame. So the other thing is, let me see. That's cool. We see this. That's fine. Again, it's a bit the bummer that this does not happen here. For a nicer silhouette for that chopper up there. Even here rides that line. It would be nice to be just here. So you gotta, like I said, clean a silhouette. Then I have to be careful of the rotor stuff. I guess you're going for action here. It just it just feels a bit distracting and poppy. I think it's not reading too well there. And then we have a lot of crazies in the camera. I think it's a bit too crazy. I would for now just keep it a bit more static. The camera really wouldn't have any shake here. It's just trying to frame the action. I would keep it a bit more conservative in your movement so that you don't have any... Because if you take this out, maybe the shake was because of that impact here. I would just... Personally, I would, for now, take that out so we can just concentrate on nice, clean framing and motion so we understand what's going on here. Because then it's a lot of stuff that goes down this way, but then it suddenly changes and then the dragon head has this big move over there. And it's right at the end. It's a big thing that suddenly happens at the end. It gets, gets a bit confusing. I personally will keep this clean where it comes in here, bam, hits this, and then drives it down this way. Continue this way and not do that. And then the other thing is, you're going left and right. I guess you're trying to tie in that it starts to go this way, looking right to left, and then we're continuing right to left. Because that was the other thing that cut was a bit strange. Ba -ba -ba, keep that clean. I mean, what you can do is, since we're so close and it comes in and continues that way, what you can do is have this element here. I careful not too much. I mean, I know we're, we're headed. It would be headed this way. So the eye goes from here to here. So maybe around the center would be too jarring. And then the path can be like this. So it has a slight little bit of a change into this, which is cool. The only thing here is that the stop is a bit abrupt here. If I look at the dragon, wow, really stops. Very quickly here. I don't know. That seems like either a linear key on the dragon. 
seems like because I don't see anything crazy on the camera unless the pan and rotation here is smooth but you translate down but I would feel like you would still see it here so watch out what's going on here and again I would cheat the texture so you don't have so much darkness here try to keep this like super white with some streaks like this some blotches there but keep the super white to have a really nice silhouette but I love this that's great Yeah, it seems like that sudden stop on oh, that dragon is slightly strange. And I would probably just... It can, the dragon can come down, right? And still flap and do this. But you can still continue to fall down. It can still go down a bit with some flaps to slow it down. But I feel like you want to continue to go down with the camera, with the dragon following this as it goes down. It seems like we have just that sudden stop, like I said. And then we kind of stay put there. But it's really cool. Really nice change. I love how all of this happens is very cool so yeah that is that thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you